there's a lady coming from uh, there's a lady from Kwakwa. Yes. Come. I heard there's a lady coming from Kwakwa. Come, both of you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know, you people, are you related? Yes. Huh? Yes. I saw a spirit in the whole of your family that this is a spirit that we need to pray against. Because when I looked at you people, I saw a spirit of stagnation in mm. the whole of the family. Mm. When I was going further, I saw a lot of poverty also. Huh? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. I said I saw okay. a lot of struggles. That's the first thing that I saw. Um, Second thing, I saw poverty around the family. Third, I saw sickness in the family. And we need to pray because it's like the enemy wants to kill people in your family, my sister. Um, huh? Mm. I'm seeing a spirit of death in your mm. house. Mm. Huh? Mm. Do you know mm. Puseletso? I'm Puseletso. Huh? I'm Puseletso. Your name is Puseletso? Yes. Hmm. These are the things that we need to pray against. I saw a spirit of death. Second thing, I saw poverty. Third, I saw people, it's like the way the enemy want to do it, you want to kill people. Like you are sick now, mama. You are very sick. Huh? Yes. So I'll pray for you. And when you look at your, your, your life, mama, also your life, there's a problem with marriage also. In your family there. Yes. Huh? Yes. So now this is spirit is a generational case that we need to cancel this now. Amen. Amen. You understand my point? Amen. Yes. Because you you are struggling a lot. Where's your husband? I and and you? No. That's what no, I'm talking I about. Mm. That this is spirit in a way that mm. you people they don't want you to be happy. Look what they're doing now. You are sick. She's sick. And if we don't pray for mama, because I'm seeing sometimes when she's standing like this, it's like she's losing balance. Huh? Mm. It's like she becomes very weak mm. in a way that she can fall and die. Listen, I'll pray for you. You will never die. <coughs> Amen. You heard what I said? So I'm, I'm just seeing something. I don't understand. I don't understand this same name. I'm just seeing K. I don't know. K E. I'm seeing a lot of double E. Yes. Huh? Yes. K double E. L E. L A L E. Yes. Kiel, I don't Kele. know. Huh? Kele. Kele. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I'll pray for you people. God is going to help you. Even you, we sell it. Today is your day. I believe God is changing your life. Amen. And you, Mama, I'll pray for you. You are healed today. Amen. Huh? Yes. You heard what I said? Yes, I You are healed. The reason why I'm speaking about marriage is because she's struggling. She faced a lot of disappointments in her life. Many people that were coming to you, Mama, they were not right people. Huh? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Mm. Where is your husband? He left me long ago. I, allow me to pray for you. You people, I said, are you ready? Amen. You hear what I said? Amen. I said, are you ready? Amen. So you need to open your heart now. God is going to solve your situations. Amen. So now, if you're going to stand here and act as if now you don't know anything. <laughs> So, but I believe the grace of God will also help you. I said there's a problem of marriage in your family. It is true. That, yes. It is true. So allow me to pray. Open your heart now. If you open your heart, God will help you. You are not old now. I am old. <laughs> <laughs> for marriage, I'm old. You are, eh? I'm old for marriage. No, no, no. Your problem is you've been facing disappointments. This man, he left you. When he left you, it's like he left you when you're not expecting it. Then from there, you told yourself, I don't need a man anymore. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. huh? it's what I'm That's thinking. what you've been telling yourself. Mm -hmm. huh? It's a spirit that today we need to deal with it. Yes. Lift up your hands. Come out! Come out! And where are your children? Why are your children? 
I'm your children. Your children. Because some of them they are not living right. Huh? Mm. Huh? Mm. Mm. Huh? 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 Mm. So I want to pray for you. After I pray for you, we'll be, it's like we'll be helping the whole family. Because I saw it's like the enemy want to mislead your children to get out of the road and drink alcohol, smoke, and do whatever that they want to do. But I'll pray for you. God is going to help you. There is the, my daughter is seriously in drugs from the age of 16 years until now. She is a teacher by profession, but it's by the grace of God that she's a teacher because he go to work when, when she likes. That's why I said to you, let's pray for your children. Amen. You people, I said, if God put me, did he put me here, you must be serious. Amen. I'm telling you, you must be serious because it means when I'm standing, the Holy Spirit is here. So I want to pray for you. I said, let's pray for your children because I saw your children drinking alcohol. When you're standing like this, I'm seeing your children. I'm seeing bottles of beers. I'm seeing them smoking things. So it's the plan of the enemy. It's like the whole family is attacked. So, but I'll pray for you and God is going to help you. Don't worry. Don't worry, ma'am. God will help you in Jesus' name. Touch here. You are healed. Mama, how are you feeling here in your stomach? Sometimes huh? I'm feeling not well. It's like, I'm a it's like there's a pain here in the yes, stomach. Yes, it's a, huh? like a moving... Something here inside. Yes. You're free, you're free, mama. Go and sit down, you're free. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also introduce the lady next to you. I'm coming from Free State in Kwakwa. Yes. Then the prophet tell me everything about me and my, my illness and everything. I'm okay, and then I feel that I am okay. So you're telling us that the prophecy that the um, prophet, prophet of God told you is true? It's true. All. All is true. Even from, from baby. Yes. Yes. And also the prophet spoke about your feet, that you were having a problem in your yes. feet. What was really happening in your feet? Yes. It's sometimes it's painful and the cramps. And also she talk, he talked about the stomach. Yes. And how are you feeling I right now? I think that is the moving object inside my my stomach, and, and also it is painful. Yes. And right now, how are you feeling? Now I'm feeling well. Yes. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? 
I can tell uh, they can come and then they are going to see the grace of God. Yes. Thank you, Mama. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the prophet of God today, whether it was true or not. Uh, my name is uh, Tusele Tokele. I come from Tuatua Free State. The prophecy that I get today, men of God, uh, pointed us uh, that there are ladies from Tuatua. <laughs> then he mentioned that uh, all of our family are facing generational curse concerning marriage. Uh, concerning marriage, I, cons uh, I confirm it to be true because uh, in the family we are five. Uh, uh, both of us, all of us were not married. Uh, even me, I've returned from marriage. Uh, my marriage was not successful. And even the, 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 the sister that comes uh, after me, She's still in marriage, but she's, she's not happy. Mm. And today when the prophet of God spoke to you, how did you feel? I feel happy because he also prophesied about my children. Uh, I'm having a, a daughter and a son. So my, child, uh, my, my daughter is very addicted to drugs, alcohol, which to do uh, for it is for a long time this problem started in 2004 and then even now even sh uh, she's a teacher by the grace of god so i confirm the prophecy to be true uh, and i think it is a breakthrough to my family and and all our generation how are you feeling right now uh, i'm feeling happy i'm feeling something happiness in my heart as you are feeling happy, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? I believe that today the Almighty God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Uh, I want to say to all the viewers who are watching us that uh, nothing is impossible with God. Amen. We thank you so much, Mommy. We believe that you are blessed, you are free in Jesus' name. Amen. My brother, which church are you going to? You? Yes. Huh? Living Fountain. Living Fountain? Mm. From, from when? From Middlebeck. From huh? since I was born. Are you not drinking? I am. Come here. <coughs> you need to be serious with your salvation, eh? Because I'm seeing what's happening in your life is not good now. Huh? You need to disconnect yourself with these friends that I'm seeing. Because you people, I'm seeing you on the corner there. Sometimes what you people are doing there is not good. Huh? Mm. So, but you need to be serious. Mm. Because now, why are you working? I'm not working. You can't work me. with this life that you're living. Mm. You understand my point? I understand. Because you sometimes, you drink mm. in a very bad way. Mm. So, I want to pray. I'm not condemning you. I'm, mm. You know, the Bible says we must never condemn each other. I'm not condemning you. I want God to help you today. You understand my point? Understand. You came here with who? I, alone. Alone. Mm. I want to pray for you. If you leave alcohol, you'll get a job. Amen. Thank you. But if you can continue drinking like this, I'm not seeing you getting a job. Because some of your friends, they'll end up, they'll end up hijacking cars. Huh? Are they not doing that? Some of them. Huh? Some of them. I'm seeing them carrying guns. Mm. Huh? You are here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing guys that are carrying guns here. And from there, they are going around robbing people. Huh? So I want to pray for you. You need to leave these people. You remember yes. what I said in the beginning? I said, leave yes. these friends. Mm. Because if you don't leave, this, you'll be arrested very soon. So leave these people. You give your life to Christ. You'll see your future will be very bright. You understand my point? I understand. Because if you live like this, I didn't want to, you know, I know we're on TV. I don't, there are some things that I won't say, but you, I have to tell you. Mm. You understand me? I have to tell you because God loves you. Thank God you. loves everyone. So, but take your life to Christ. You become serious with your salvation. You'll see God, what, what God will do. He will, he will give you a job very fast. 
So we need to pray for you a prayer of accepting Jesus today. I don't know who can who can do that for me. Because very soon one of your friends will be arrested. And I'm also hearing a case of rape. Mm. Huh? I'm hearing a case, case, case that one of them will end up having a case of rape. So leave these people, take your life to Christ, leave alcohol, and you'll see what God will do for you. Thank you. Because you, the minute, your problem is, can I tell you your problem? Please. When they call you, you don't know how to deny. Mm. Huh? Yes, huh? it's true. When they call you on the phone, you don't know how to say, no, I can't come. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. So now, these problems that you are facing now is because of this life that you are living. So allow me to pray for you. I believe God is going to help you. you. As he has helped us, he will also help you. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? I understand. So don't ever condemn yourself. Tell yourself it's never too late. So I'll pray for you. You go. If you go back, hear what I'm saying? If you go back, you'll be arrested. Because these people, what they're doing, they will even hijack cars now. Are they not hijacking cars? They do. Huh? They do. Are there any ro robbing stores? They do. Huh? They do. And when, what are you doing? What are you doing with them? They call me to drive them. Ah. So, can you see that God loves you? Huh? So, leave these people. And this thing is going to be a challenge for you because when you go back home, because you told yourself, I want to, I want to stop these things. Because you can see what it now is becoming more dangerous. Mm. Huh? Mm. So I want to pray for you. Stop these things. Leave these people. Because according to me, when I looked at you, I saw it's Oti. You don't have a gun? No. no. <laughs> I don't have a gun. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Huh? I don't have a gun. So they borrow you? Uh, uh, they once gave me to to say uh, 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 I'm protecting uh, uh, myself. Wait, <laughs> they don't they borrow you a gun? Yes. Huh? Yes. You must know if I'm saying something, I'm speaking something because I'm seeing it. Mm. You understand? I can't ask you a question if I'm not seeing anything. I'm seeing you holding a gun, mm. and this gun is not yours. So I will pray for you, and God is going to help you today. You understand me? Understand. And if you become serious, you'll see what God will do about your future. Your future will change. And stop smoking because here you're already affected. Close your eyes. When was the last time you people you were doing a robbery? Um, it was April, March. Oh, because the reason why I'm asking is, is like they are planning another one now. And they, I'm not sure though. And if you go with them, you, you won't come back. Go and sit down, you're free. Say, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the prophet of God today, whether it was true or not. Okay, my name is Kamukhelo Mutipe. I'm from Middleburg, and then... The man of God prophesied that um, I was involved with bad people who are robbing 
who are robbing stores who have guns and then he also mentioned that um, I smoke and I drink and which is true and he also mentioned that if I stop smoking my life will change if I stop smoking and drinking and going with bad friends my life will change and how are you feeling after you've received the prophet um, okay when he prayed for me he touched me here and he told me that my lungs are already um, damaged but then after he prayed for me I, I felt I felt something like going out of my lungs. Even now, I can I can feel I can feel a lot of a bit lighter. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to other young uh, men out there? Um, I'd like to give them encouragement on like they should go on chasing more on their dreams and don't do things because other people are doing it. Yes, just focus on God and focus on living a better life on a daily basis. So, are you happy right now? I'm very happy and I'm looking forward to achieving a lot. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that you are blessed. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you.